A Facebook event page was created by Eastern Kentucky locals to hold a public gathering in support of all law enforcement officers and for those who lay their lives on the line every day to not only serve, but to also protect. I met with Amy Watt, one of the organizers of the Support Blue Lives Matter event, to find out more on where and when this event will take place. I am in the process right now of setting up. I'm trying to get in contact with some city officials. Um, due to state guidelines over the COVID-19, um, we've actually had to reschedule. So it will be sometime in July. I will update on the Facebook page, which is Support Blue Lives Matter. It's an event page. Um, I will continue to update everyone that was going to come to show support about when the time and the day and the location will be. I feel like in this uh, time, they're, they're getting a lot of uh, bad credit. And I just wanted our local law enforcement to get the appreciation that they deserve. So that's, how, that's why I wanted to organize this rally. Amy wants all law enforcement to know that even though there has been turmoil between citizens and officers of the law, there is still support for all law enforcement in the mountains. In my opinion, I feel like they are being demonized. In anything that you do, there's going to be a bad egg. But I feel like every law enforcement officer is getting the brunt end of a mistake made by someone else that they don't even know. So I just wanted to show them appreciation, let them know that, you know, you do have a lot of supporters and we got your six, especially around here. This public event will be a positive and peaceful community gathering and organizers are planning in accordance to the CDC's recommended guidelines and regulations. We do have to follow the state guidelines and that is what I'm in the process of right now, working with officials, trying to get that set up. I do say that people do need to wear their mask. You need to practice your social distancing, bring your hand sanitizer, you know, do all of that that you're supposed to be doing anyway in this time period of, you know, everything going on, but do practice your social distancing at this event and that will be one of the main things and that will be covered. Just tell me, what does a law enforcement officer mean to you? Protection. Honestly, yes, protection, and they're here to serve. They're just trying to do their job is all that they're trying to do. And to me, I know that if I was in some kind of trouble, physical harm, or anything like that, I know that I could contact a police officer and he would be there for me. Search Support Blue Lives Matter, and it will show up the event. Um, you can contact me on that, or if anybody has any messages, they can contact me on my personal Facebook page. Um, the event page uh, will be the page that will be providing all the details and about how everything is going. I will continuously update whenever I get approval from everything that I need approval for. I actually have on my uh, Thin Blue Line t-shirt today to show support. You can wear your t-shirts to show local law enforcement support. You can wear your bracelets, your blue ribbons. Uh, you can go all out. That is what we want. We want them to feel welcome and to show that. So anything that supports the blue thin line, wear it as far as you want to go. <laughs> as someone who has lived and worked in Pike County for most of his life, William Matthew Reynolds says that law enforcement officers in the region go above and beyond to assist the public. I have dealt with our local uh, law enforcement on several occasions. They've came to assist and I've seen what a great job they do, how they handle people and how they treat people. Uh, always fair and always respectable. Just tell me what a law enforcement officer means to you. Well, for me, it's somebody that you look up to. Uh, you know, just because you see a law enforcement doesn't mean there's a problem. We can find bad in any job, any aspect. These men and women put themselves out there for us. I mean, they can go get different jobs. This is a job they, they love what they do or they would not be doing it. Reynolds personally describes law enforcement officers as, quote, heroes. They go in to a situation that most people run from. If that's not a hero or somebody to look up to, I don't know what is. One thing that always aggravates me when I watch these things on TV is you always have this guy or woman or individual out here with their video showing and videoing a cop or a police officer in an altercation. I would not want to stand there and video that. I would want to try to help them. Uh, stand back and watch an officer be attacked or have a problem is not, that's not support. Support is how can I help? Right here in our county and other counties, we don't really have that big an issue. But like I said before, these officers go out at daytime, nighttime. They don't know what that call is. They, they get called to go out. They don't know what's going to happen when they get there. 
So instead of us always people being negative and looking at them as a, as a threat or a problem, look for the good, look for the positive. Uphold and stand up for those people. Show your support. Not, instead of sitting home and saying it, come out. Yeah, I mean, it's a peaceful protest. I mean, just come out, show your support, walk up to them. You know, I know we're not supposed to, we're supposed to social distance and not supposed to touch. You can do that. But show these people a little bit of gratitude. Please come out to this event. It will be fun. We will have inflatables and food. And it's just going to be a good time for these, and show these guys appreciation. They're going to bring their families. Let's just make it a peaceful event and just to have fun. Reporting from Pikeville, Kentucky, I'm Jeremy Justice with your Mountaintop News.